Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, just wanted to let you guys know that I've been doing some case law, adding it to the laws you didn't know about, including how a violation of one right equates to a violation of them all. That is foundational in Americans' jurisprudence. However, now the case is that, well, violation of your constitutionally secured rights, um, it, 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 well, it doesn't necessarily amount to, you know, uh, any significant violation. A judgment is void unless a reasonable method of notification is employed and a reasonable opportunity to be heard is afforded. See, an individual must be given an opportunity to be heard to the person affected. See, reasonable opportunity, method of notification is employed and a reasonable opportunity to be heard. We have applied this principle in a collateral attack on particular proceedings taken in an action in which the court had both jurisdiction over the subject matter and over the person of the defendant. Okay, they mention that. Now we're going to go to where we highlighted the section. There was a violation of a basic constitutional right, recognizing that the violation of a constitutional right may make the proceedings in which the violation took place either void or voidable. We said in this case, the violation in this case went to the fairness of the conduct of the trial and accordingly the money judgment obtained in violation of the rights was invalid. Okay, so what do we do? What do you do? How do you use this to your benefit? Well, this is what you do. You take this section only, okay? You don't worry about everything else that was said. Why are we just taking that section? Because you're doing the same thing the courts do. See, what the courts are doing is they are only taking what they want and ruling on that. That's why you see there's conflicting laws. Violation of constitutional right may make the proceeding in which the violation, to, see, that may right there. In the past, you violated a constitutional secured right, and that constitutionally secured right was a violation of due process. You violated due process, and it was a void judgment. Okay? A void judgment may be assailed at all time and in all proceedings in which it is sought to be enforced. Okay, you can continue to raise void judgment, void judgment for the life. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these violation of rights and we're going to put this in there so you'll now know how to go and get your laws associated. Now, when they did the laws you did not know exist, many of those laws are what you call um, unpublished cases. That's why many of you have, over the years, not been able to confirm those cases. Now, with a website like Case Text, we're able to confirm these rulings and I'd say ruling with a little bit of disdain from these judicial unofficials. Okay, so what I'm doing is the laws you did not know exist. I am putting it in a smaller size because the document is pretty lengthy as it is. Okay, and then as I'm here, I'm going to paste it. It's going to paste normal size, and then I'm going to have to go through the motions of redoing it and bringing it down to the right side. The only reason why I'm pasting it this way is because the sites that contain a hyperlink, see all those hyperlinks? All you got to do is hit the control bar, literally, hit the control bar and right click, and there you go. It'll take you right to the site. Okay. So we got to bring this down to eight. Okay, like this. Put this over there and you hit control and you just click on the link, right click. And it will open up in a browser. So this document includes links that you can click on and it'll take you to the case. Follow me? Got me? Good. All right. Now, you will have to get yourself a temporary account with case text because that's where it's going to take you. See, took us right to in re-adoption. All right, let me, let me make sure I can show you that it took us right where we needed to go. Can we go up to the top? All right, put your hands inside the car. Moving up, first floor, in re-adoption. 
Okay. Now, if we go back to this. Like I said, this is a lengthy document because we've added so much to it over the years. But now we're adding the actual case law instead of copying and pasting from somebody else's stuff. We even put the information of fraud. You know what? All right. We want something like this. Copy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on things like ex post facto, where the courts are now telling us what ex post facto mean and Congress tells us what it means. Look here, you ignorant idiots. Not you guys talking to Congress and the courts. This is 200 years later. That doesn't make you an expert on what the original intent behind no ex post facto law, what it means. You don't get to determine that. That's not your choice. Sorry, I'm, I got to get back up here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm also trying to scan a document. And it's been hours because I had to get this stupid program, HP Smart Start, to work with the printer. See? And it keeps doing that. It keeps logging me out and having me log back in. And I just can't do that. I'm not going to be going through that no more. I right, forget it. But I get it. Flagrant that get it. Okay. Now, we put that in. Now, see, it's doing a parallel search. We can do the keyword search, but it'll do all of the words, and I don't want all the words. I want the phrase, okay? Now, this one, uh, fraud may be presumed, must be proved, clear evidence. Generally, the seller does not have blah, blah, blah. So this is where it lets us know about fraud, concealing material fact where there's a duty. Remember I told you what the courts do is they copy and paste, the same as you guys do. When you guys are copying and pasting case law, the courts are copying and pasting case law. That's why you can see the same phrase in every document. Okay, that's why you see the same cases, same phrase. So y'all do the same thing, same thing, okay? You just sit up there and you just monkey see, monkey do. You calling us monkeys? You better believe I am, okay? That's all right. It's all right to be a monkey. Hey, hey, for the monkeys! You guys remember the show? Technically, I went back. That 70s show kind of had me going back and revisiting shows like The Monkees. Okay? And sorry, there was a group called The Monkees. And they did a song. And I think that that song, Imagine Me and You, is true. You know what I'm saying? That song was, man, y'all know what I'm saying? So it's all right to be a monkey. <laughs> hey, for The Monkees. Okay, that's not the one I want. I want this one. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to get rid of that because we don't need that. And I'm just going to minimize this, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk to you all for a second, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and end this video. I got some wind blowing. It's like, um, it's, it's, it's almost like it's a storm, but it's not a storm. Is it a windstorm? No, it's not a windstorm. This is every single day about this exact same time. I've been since I've been here, I've been telling you guys on video that just about the same time of day we get the same type of winds. Now during the winter, oh that's gonna be a oh wait, that's gonna be something else. Okay, but during the summer, this is perfect because we need that. Okay, this vehicle comes equipped with a heater and an air conditioning unit. I just don't feel like running the generator for air conditioning. So the fact that it's insulated, the um, vehicle actually keeps me pretty comfortable. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. Now you see the Constitution of these United States Supreme Law of the Land. The Constitution is not the Supreme Law of the Land. Now at this time when this was invented, okay, the Constitution was Supreme Law of the Land because it was the first ten amendments founded on the Bill of Rights. You follow me? Congress doesn't get to make the law. The people make the laws. Then Congress enacts those laws at the will of the people. But Congress doesn't just get to make a law because they had a headache last night and they decided that they were going to take some excedrin and charge everybody with, oh, you, you people, y'all know what y'all going to do? Uh, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, those of you who have this document, the laws you did not know exist, those of you who are having issues with taxes, there is an entire tax section. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put that tax section a little bit more deep, okay? 
not this. This is uh, dealing with habeas corpus and stuff. So this is not the tax section. We got to go back up to the tax section. Come on now. Uh, okay. These, this is the tax section, but there were some cases. There were like 15 cases, and it's not in this one. Dag nabbit. There are about 15 cases that deal with taxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys the tax information. Those who want to be a taxpayer, all you got to do is sit up there and file for a tax return and document that you're a taxpayer. If you don't want to be a taxpayer, just simply tell them, I'm sorry, but I am not a taxpayer. That's it. Literally. All you got to do is write the IRS and say, I am not a taxpayer. As of this moment, I am no longer to be construed as a taxpayer. Just that simple. But you're going to have to do a little bit of research, people. Okay, watch this. We're going to go. I was looking for the information about my HP printer. So I got that. So uh, N-O-N-T-A-X-P-A-Y-E-R. Now, this one says non-tax, no, payer, exemption, non-taxpayer mid-level exemption. I don't know about mid-level exemption, so what I want to do is I want to click on it because I'm interested to see what they're going to say. The, a team may use a non-taxpayer mid-level salary exemption to sign one or more players to contracts that do not exceed the in aggregate the permitted nine point. Two five eight million for 2019 2020. Okay, please understand. Understand, understand. Non taxpayer. See, a non taxpayer mid level exemption. Non taxpayer exemption. I didn't make it up, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to go straight to the non taxpayer, not mid level, and we're not going to do the exemption. Okay, don't want non-taxpayer mid-level exemption. Let's do non-taxpayer meaning before I get to the SEDM. Okay, non-taxpayer. In the English Cobill Dictionary for learners, a non-taxpayer meaning explain. Uh, I'm not clicking on you. What is meant by non-tax revenue? Everyone Is everyone a taxpayer? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to love this question right here. Most adults are taxpayers. Look, the question is, is everyone taxpayers? Okay, most adults are taxpayers. Virtually every human being becomes a taxpayer at some point. People may pay taxes when they pay for goods and services. When they pay for goods and services, which are tax. Yes, because you pay taxes on those goods and services. The term taxpayer often refers to workforce in a country which pays the government system and projects through taxation. Interesting, huh? That Wackipedia would say something like that. Let's go here. Taxpayer versus non-taxpayer, family guardian. That's who I was looking for. I said SEDM, but it was the family guardian that I was looking for because they're the ones who go extensively on explaining to you about taxes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I probably will download some of these and put it on our site, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link and put it in the laws that you did not know exist. That's the first thing. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's copy the whole thing. I'll put this link in first while I have you guys on video so that you guys can see what's being done. Okay, we're going to put this right here. It's not supposed to be in that style. So let's change that style to Times Roman. We'll do Times Roman. Okay, and then in order to make it a hyperlink, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Now all you got to do is put your mouse over it. There you go. It's a hyperlink now. All right. Now we got that as a hyperlink so that all people have to do is click on it. But what we're going to do is so that you don't have to click on it, we're going to provide you these links. Okay. And then we're going to provide you this information because this is 100% accurate. And we're going to put the whole bit of information there because this is what you need if you're having issues with taxes. These individuals have been successful. Copy. Let me say it again. These individuals have been very successful. The information they put up gives you the location of where you can find it. And if they give you that location, let's do that right there. 
and let's do that right there and see if it'll let me put it in this font. If not, I'm going to have to select all and put it in the font I need. This will be the extent of the added laws that we're going to be adding now. Oh, it did it that way. That is so great. You guys don't have any idea why I just said what I just said. I don't want to do that right there. So now I got to undo that. Let's undo that. Okay. Let me show you why this is so perfect. By putting the whole page here, it did the hyperlinks and everything. So by putting the whole page here, we're going to send you guys over to Family Guardian. I've always had respect for Family Guardian. Okay. I Like I said, SD, uh, SEDM, I have respect for them too. It's just they do the religious thing. And All right, fine. You can add scripture, but this ain't got nothing to do with scripture. Do you guys understand? Jesus says that his followers are no part of the world. His father says that his followers are no part of the world. The world belongs to Satan for the moment. So why would you mix what belongs to God with Satan? Okay, did he not say pay back God's things to God's and Caesar's to Caesar's? Well, give Caesar what the Caesar won't, but leave God alone. Stop adding him into this madness. Hold on. Sorry, allergies, wind blowing, dust, particles, pollen, you know, that type of stuff. Hey, look, off-site link, S-E-D-M. Still got to take you there. Now, you guys need to understand what's the difference between a taxpayer and a non-taxpayer. You will need to understand that. Once you understand what the difference between a taxpayer and a non-taxpayer, life goes on. Didn't I tell you that after I did this, watch this. Say. Save! We're saving it. The reason why? Because we're about to put it online for you so that all of you will have access to this document. Save it again. Okay. So that it is saved, I'm going to delete it. I mean, not delete it, close it out. Now, I'm going to start this program. And now I'm going to put you guys on pause for a second. Okay. Just so that you guys will know that didn't want to take you through having to wait while I did all of that. I went ahead and changed the name to 21 or 2021 update the laws you didn't know exist. Okay. I would download a copy of that just to have a copy of that because you never know. Okay. That is in about 10 different folders. Let's see how many times did I upload it? Oh, I, I shut it down. Dagnabbit. But I believe it's in about 10 different folders. All the law folders. Uh, even the S-D-E-M folder, or S-E-D-M, excuse me, S-D-E-M folder. It's even in there. So we put it in all the folders, all of the laws, so that those of you who need access to this legal information, it's legal. It's legal, 100%, 100-tootly, doodly, tootly, fully percent legal. Okay, got to go because I've been working on this document, and I haven't touched it all day, and I got 27% left on the main battery there. And I got to get this done. I've been up in front of this computer since 8.30. Didn't go to sleep until after 2.30, but been up since 8.30. And I haven't done anything but sat in front of this computer and talked to you guys all day. I got to go. Y'all take care. Got to go, got to go, got to go.